In this tutorial we're going to be going over the light 2D node, light occlusion, normal maps as well as shadow gradients. The program, the art and the project can be found in the description. Before we begin we're going to be making our light source which we add a black background, a white circle and add some glazian blur. For our world it's going to be a 2D node and we're going to be adding a sprite as our shader. We're going to be adding our white background to it and we're just going to be spreading it out and changing the modulate value to be a transparent black background. We're going to be adding a light 2D node and we're going to make it so that it's ahead of the shader so it shows behind it. going to be adding a sprite to it just so we can see where it is. And we're going to be adding our light texture to our light 2D. I changed the values as well so the sprite and the light 2D are the same. I add another sprite and add the brick behind it and I change it so that it is in the shader now. And now I'm going to be adding a script to our Light 2D just to give it some basic movement so you can see it right here in action. The light is a bit weak so now I increase it and it's much brighter. The next thing that we're going to do is duplicate our brick three times and we're going to be adding normal maps to these bricks. I'm going to be using a program called Lighter and I'm going to be changing it so that I'm only exporting a normal map. We will be importing our brick image to be using this. As you can see, you can change the view. This is a normal map, this is the preview, and you can change the view with the flame as you move around. We're going to be using a few different normal map types. You can export it and save. I'm going to be using these three different formats. And back to Godot, we're going to be inserting those as the normal map in our three duplicated sprites. I'm going to hold down Alt to move them in place and we're going to run the project to see what they look like. As you can see, the light is acting differently to the normal map. In addition, you can completely change how the light interacts with it by changing the height of the light. Next thing we're going to do is duplicate our brick again, and we're going to be adding a light occluded 2D node to it. We're going to be adding our new polygon, and we're going to be adding a few points to it to create a shadow. We're also going to be enabling shadows on our light so this works. If you go inside it's going to absorb the light so be careful with collisions and we can also do this with tile maps by creating a tile map adding it as a single tile but also adding the occlusion to it. If you set it out like this you'll be able to see what it does. If you go inside it will also highlight everything so be careful. We're going to be dragging our light to there and we're going to be adding our gradient as well to make this a little bit nicer of an effect. And now when we move around you can see that it looks pretty good. We can also change the color of the light and we can also change the shadow color of the light. Though be careful if you've got gradient on it and that's pretty much it.